Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to construct RT robot as a part of robotics construction level 1 program. This robot has a very unique movement. So in this video, our learning objective is to construct the RT robot and understand this new unique movement. Step 1. Here we create the legs of the robot. Pay attention here. In this side, the C plate's flat surface can be seen here, whereas the L plate's flat surface is touching the C plate's flat surface. Whereas in this, you can see the flat surface of L plate is visible and it is touching the flat surface of C plate which is on the other side. So this is very important. The direction of L plate will be different in both the cases. Observe the alignment of the slits and create it using one C plate, one L plate, two nut bolts here, one C plate, one L plate, two nut bolts here. Let's go to the next step. In this step, we are connecting one rectangular plate with one double bar. Observe the slit directions carefully. These two parts are connected using a flat connector here and one flat connector here using two nut bolts each. This is going to be the body of our RT robot. Let's go to the next step. Here we have connected the body to the legs which we created in step 1 using two nut bolts here and two nut bolts here. We also have created one hole using a flat rotator and one bolt and nut. Now we know how to create a hole using a flat rotator. And in that hole, we have inserted a small axle. And we have secured the small axle in place using two sharp locks, one on each side. Similarly, we have created a hole here. Here the hole was created horizontally, here vertically. And we have also attached a DC motor with motor shaft. On the motor shaft, we have put one shaft lock to create some space and after that we have mounted the smallest gear. Now here this is the neck of our robot. We have connected two flat rotators using one nut bolt each. This we will call assembly A. Let's go to the next step. Here we are creating assembly B. These are going to be our hands and these are going to be our shoulder joints. What we have done? We have got a big gear to that we have connected 1.5 inch bolt very very tightly and then on that we have put two spacers similarly here big gear 1.5 inch bolt and nut tightly connected and two spacers alignment of these two gears should be exactly same and these gears are going to act as our shoulder joints these are our hands created using double bar. This double bar is connected with our shoulder joint using L connector. The L connector is connected to the double bar using a nut bolt and tightly. Whereas that is connected to the shoulder joint or to this assembly here using a loosely connected nut. Similarly, we are doing it here as well. This double bar also we connected one L connector tightly and then that L connector is connected to this gear using a loosely connected nut. Here we have attached two L connectors to the double bar using one nut and bolt and here we have used a square plate and this square plate is attached to these two double bars using one nut bolt here, one nut bolt here and one more nut bolt here, one nut bolt here. Here along with the square plates we have also attached two L connectors. Now this arrangement which we have done is to hold the dia, hold the lamp okay, which will be used to perform RT. Watch this step carefully. There are lots of things to be done here. Not difficult but still watch it carefully. We will go to the next step now. The assembly B which we created in last step is connected to the assembly A which we created in earlier steps. We had two axles 
on those axles we have mounted these two gears and lock them using a shaft lock that way now our shoulder joints are connected to the body let's go to the next step here we are creating a head assembly to give a look of the face of a person what we have done is we have connected these two flat connectors using a nut bolt but there is one shaft lock put behind here between the square plate and the bolt there is one shaft lock here so that the bolt is slightly protruding out giving a feel of eyes and these two flat connectors which are coming slightly out gives a feel of ears similarly here two more flat connectors are connected to this face using two nut bolts this will be a face which we will connect to arti robot which we have created till step 5 let's go to next step now here we have attached this face assembly head assembly to the neck using two nut bolts here and that completes our arti robot now how does it work the smallest gear drives both these gears now if the smallest gear is rotating clockwise then both these gears will rotate anti-clockwise that means they are going to rotate in the same direction ensuring that this arti goes in the same direction because we have connected these hands to these gears loosely this arti will always stay facing up make this robot try out with a lamp which is not lighted first everything is okay then you can put a lighted lamp and make arti i hope you like this robot please feel free to put your comments in the comment section